All right. Um, here's a video for day two, the day two practice problems. Um, okay. So the first two, um, what I'm going to do here is I have my answer key up and I'm just going to go over my work just to explain it. All right. Um, if you have any more specific questions, let me know. Okay. Um, first off, number one, number one, uh, we want to find uh, Friday's lesson is all about finding the missing angle. The last lesson was. All right. So if my here's my question mark. I put an X there. I labeled this side my opposite. This side would have been the hypotenuse, and this would have been the adjacent, right? Well, I have O and H, so that tells me that I'm going to use sine. I take sine of my angle equals the ratio O, which is 8, H, which is 24. Again, to find X, I'm going to use the sine inverse of 8 over 24. Remember, you get that by pressing second sine, and that'll give you this 19.47 degrees. Okay? Number two. All right, number two, here's my missing angle. I'll label this side my opposite. This is the adjacent, that the hypotenuse. So I'm looking at A and H, which means cosine. Cosine of angle X is 45, which is A over H, which is 49, to get 23.31. Again, I'm going to use, now I'm going to use the cosine inverse rather than sine inverse at number two. All right, numbers three, four, and five. Three looks like this. Three, here's my missing angle. That means this side would be the opposite. This would be the adjacent, and this would be the hypotenuse, okay? Since I'm using the adjacent and the hypotenuse, I want to do cosine of 12 over 44. And again, it's second cosine of this ratio to get 74. Number four, here's my missing angle. All right, and here's the question mark. This side is opposite. This is my hypotenuse. This is the adjacent. Since I'm looking at O and A, that means I use tangent. Tangent of the angle X is O, which is 16, over A, which is 43. Second tangent to give me 20 over, or excuse me, 20.41. Second tangent of this ratio. Number five. Here we go with number five. Man, I feel alive, don't you? Here we go. Number five on the twos and threes plus two plus three is five yeah here we go so here's the angle x x this is my opposite side this is the hypotenuse this is the adjacent adjacent excuse me o and a tells me i use tangent tangent of the angle x equals the ratio five over 13 second tangent again that looks like this tan negative one of five over 13 gives me this angle all right, the back side, the first three on the back side, all I had to do was find the missing side. So I'm not going to use any inverse, okay? Um, there's a reason I picked these these three on the back, okay, just to practice that division, um, practice division. Okay, so first you'll see here's my angle. Here's my given angle, so that's my reference angle. This becomes the opposite, the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent. So I'm looking at A and H, which is cosine. Cosine of my angle, 41, equals A, which is 18, over H, which is X. So since the variable is in the denominator, I'm going to have to divide. Denominator, divide. There's an easy way to think of it. So if I cross multiply, I get cosine of 41 times X, and I divide 18 by the cosine of 41 to get 23.85. All right, same idea here. Here's my given angle, 21. This is my opposite. This is my adjacent. Oh, O and A means tangent. Ding, ding, ding. Tangent of my angle, wow, is O, which is 12, over A, which is X. So if denominator means I'm going to have to divide, I'm going to have to divide 12 by the tangent of 21 to get 31.626. Excuse me. Last one of the missing sides. Here's my angle 20. This is my opposite side. This is the hypotenuse, this is the adjacent. O and H means sine. Sine of my angle 20 is O, which is 16 over H, which is X. Denominator means I'm going to have to divide 16 by the sine of 20 to get 46. Last two. Okay, all we have to do is find the ratios. Find the ratios. So you're given this angle A. A is your reference angle here. This is the opposite. This is the adjacent. And this is the hypotenuse. So find the sine, which means find opposite over adjacent. So 32 over 40 reduces to 4 over 5. Always reduce. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. So 24 over 40, which is 3 over 5. Tangent O over A, 32 over 24, which is 4 over 3. Remember, when you're finding ratios, you're not solving 
Okay, I'm not solving for a missing side. I'm just showing what the actual ratio is itself. All right, last one, number 10. A is, again, the reference angle, but A is up top. Pay attention to that. All right, uh, don't get tripped up and just use C as the reference angle. So if A is the reference angle up here, that means this is the opposite side here. This is the hypotenuse, this is the adjacent. Sine is going to be opposite over a hypotenuse, so I get 14 over 50, which is 7 over 25. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, 48 over 50, 24 over 25, and tangent O over A, 14 over 48, which is 7 over 24. All right, um, that's the video for today's for to for that for that practice problems. All right, I hope that helped. Let me know if it did not.